My name is Sarah Miles. I was really blessed to have been a stay-at-home mom, and my children are grown and raised now. They're both in their t late 20s. Um, but I did accumulate a lot of hobbies. I really love jewelry design, and I've been doing that for a really long time. Also, I worked as an actress, um, and I just love to dance. My fiance and I go out dancing. We love to ballroom dance, all types of dancing, which I think add to the whole upbeat, uplifting, euphoria that I have. In 1985, I was um, diagnosed with extensive thyroid cancer, and just by a fluke, I went to work out in the gym and lifted a weight, and it was so heavy that it popped the tumor coming forward, and basically, I had no time to really think about what was happening to me. I felt the tumor in the lab and said, oh my God, what is this? I was rushed to emergency surgery, and was told that I would never speak again because the tumor had been wrapped around one of my vocal cords. Um, I spent three years going through a chemotherapy, radioactive iodine, and I had to learn how to speak and swallow and eat all over again. That was a trial that I don't think I wish anybody to go through. But in the whole spectrum of it all, it made me a stronger person. Before I started using cosmetic dermatology, I was feeling less than great about myself. There were a few things that I really kind of wanted to fix when I looked in the mirror because I did grow up in the sun years when sun tanning was a sport. And I felt like I had a lot of sun damage and really wanted to fix that. Dr. Tess, first of all, I loved her. I walked into that office and I just felt at peace. I felt calm. I knew I belonged there. And as I met her and worked with her, I thought, you know what? This is where I need to be. She was just, she treated me like I was part of the family. And that was really important. The procedures that I've had done are laser. I've had Restylane um, around the corners, our borders of my mouth, the corners of my, from my nose down to my lips. Um, I've had a little bit of Botox, and I've had currently penis freeze that I just love. With each anti-aging procedure, there really wasn't that much pain. I think for me, I was so excited that I kind of maybe psyched myself up, and I think with each individual, there, you know, each person has their different type of tolerance. My tolerance from what I had been through with my cancer recovery must have been way up there because although I did have downtime, there was some redness and swelling. It was absolutely phenomenal experience. The results from my cosmetic procedures, both physically and emotionally, I, it was just immediate. I felt so great about myself and it wasn't really in a vanity standpoint, it was just that I felt more revitalized, I felt perky, and I felt really basically, you know, like she had kind of turned back the hands of time into really a realistic age for me. Oh, my life has changed because of the procedures. Everywhere I go, no one has ever asked me, do you have something done? They say to me, you look fabulous. You must really be living a calm life. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and now with cosmetic dermatology and the procedures I've had, my goal in life because of my spirituality is to put together both mind, body, and spirit. And that involves the physical, the mental, the emotional. And I think through that, they say no pain, no gain. Well, I look at that in the cancer survival. Yes, there was a lot of pain, but on the cosmetic side, shouldn't have to suffer at all. So I guess you could say I've crossed over from my painful event. And now I am starting to have all the pieces together and at 56 years old, I feel fabulous. Anybody who is considering cosmetic dermatology and if they're a little bit hesitant, I promote it 100%. And once again, not just for vanity, but it brings a renewed sense of self into your life. It balances you out. It's not, if you're going for an unrealistic age or an unrealistic vision of yourself, then I say don't do it. But if you want to feel better about yourself, more vibrant, you look in the mirror and say, wow, I'm this certain age. I just look fabulous. Then go for it.